What's up guys, my name is Double and today we're gonna talk about how to get the most out of this tripod update oh, that is coming up on Wednesday. It's a really, really great opportunity and even if you're short on gold, faons, blue crystals, whatever it may be, I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of it depending on your class and what tripods you need to be maximizing. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that you need to be doing is to recognize what makes your class good. And what I mean by that is how can it deal the absolute most damage from the tripod category? So for example, like a transformation class, like a shadow hunter or a scouter, those few skills that really raise your meter quickly to enable you to transform even faster, those are obviously going to take priority in the, that tripod list. But the other tripods that are in your normal skills they're not dealing a whole lot of damage anyway so they're really very bottom priority when we're talking about this or you could be playing a class like an ignition sorceress that really depends on two things big damage skills in her ignition process and then also being able to build meter quicker to enable that process to happen so you're kind of at a catch 22 where you've got to get a lot of tripods going and don't worry we're going to talk about how to do that as cheaply as possible and e as efficiently as possible and then number three you have a class that just deals straight damage and all of those tripods are pretty important and at that point you need to see which skills are actually doing the most damage throughout a fight and which skills would benefit the most from having enhanced tripods on them for example like a berserker class or a gunslinger where is most of that damage coming from so that's the first thing that you need to be doing the second thing that you need to be doing is organizing those skills as like i kind of just previously talked about into a priority list of which ones you it's an absolute must have, which ones are kind of important, but not quite as important as the top ones. And then the absolute last ones that kind of come as, well, that's nice. That's kind of a quality of life skill, or that's gonna make it a little more comfortable play, things like that. I have not bought my Gunslinger tripods yet. I've only collected them through a ton of Chaos Dungeons. She was my main, and then I switched main around the time that Vaulton came out. So they are both 1505, and they've been doing a ton of Chaos Dungeons. Um, I only do the rest now, but that's still a lot of tripods. So I was able to gather quite a bit, and here's the list that I've been able to gather. And as you can see here, the blue skills, and I'm a time to hunt gunslinger. So all of my damage is coming from my sniper skills and two of my pistol skills but mostly my four sniper skills so that's why i have these in blue because they are my biggest damage dealing skills now as far as what tripods i have i have made them into uh, green or yellow for example like this quick pace is like i don't have a tripod for it at all so that's why it's yellow and these are light green because they're either a two or a three uh, and then I have these a little bit darker green. Those are good to go. Those are already on four. And so, of course, getting a level four tripod that will translate to a level five skill because just selecting the skill, it's already level one. So that's kind of how that works. So I would very much recommend you doing this on a piece of paper or Excel or whatever it may be. That way you can be very organized in doing this because you don't want to buy the same tripod twice or three times or buy the wrong one on like pants or chest whenever you're transferring it into your inventory, which we're going to go over in just a second. And with this third method that I'm going to talk about, we're going to maximize your level four and level three tripods to be able to get the absolute most out of the process, even if you're not insanely uh, rich with faons and blue crystals and gold right now. So personally, I bought a lot of blue crystals when they were really cheap. I can't even remember when that was. It was so long ago, it seems. But I went ahead and bought all five pages because I knew that I would be needing them eventually as soon as Korea got there update for this i was like holy crap i need to go ahead and buy these and i had a ton so i went ahead and bought five sheets but if you do not have these sheets which the only tripods that are going to be transferring over are the ones saved into these sheets not your gear so they have to be shaved excuse me they have to be saved into these sheets that being said 
you might not have three, four, and five unlocked. You might just have one and two, or you might only be able to afford one extra sheet, which is, I think, 50 or 75 blue crystals, uh, something like that. So you might only have three of these, and you need to make the absolute most out of this. This is what we are going to do to do that. So you remember when I said you're gonna make a priority list about your biggest skills and what you have to have for your level four tripods, right? So those are the first ones we're going to go after in the auction house. So we're gonna to go to the auction house. We are going to go to this advanced search category gear, and depending on which slot you need it in, that is what you're going to search for it in. So I need a level four perfect shot enhanced tripod. So let's go ahead and look for that. So perfect shot, enhanced shot. I need a level four and we're gonna go ahead and search for it. This is the perfect example. I wanted to find the perfect example to show you. So this is a perfect shot enhanced shot four. And you can see that this skill has agile movement level three of dexterous shot along with perfect shot enhanced shot level four. So that would be perfect because I don't, well, Currently, I do have a level four tripod for it, but it's not one of my primary skills that I was going to prioritize when buying these tripods. So this is the perfect example of, hey, this would be good if, if it were you and you didn't have this tripod yet. Boom, get that and take a level three tripod here because it's not an absolute necessity to get a level four. Take that level three along with the level four of the prioritized tripod in one piece of gear. So that only that also saves you gold, but it also saves you space in your skill tree inventory here. And I promise you, once you start buying these level four tripods that are a priority and be looking for level three tripods that are non-prioritized skills alongside them on the same piece of gear, you are going to save so many freaking bayons. It is crazy. And you can sell this gear back even if it's cheap, you're still making a good amount of gold back of your investment from that piece of gear. So this will start to fill up. And that's why this is so important to be organized with this. So you can absolutely min max your efficiency here with this tripod and get the most out of this update because it's going to be such a huge power gain. Lots of people are going to be literally doing double damage. Even my Glavier, uh, it's 1505. My tripods on that character are so ass. It is crazy because I knew this tripod update was coming. So I didn't want to buy a bunch of pieces of gear to try to get her to her ultimate power level or as powerful as she could be then. Uh, so I just went ahead and really was efficient with my tripod buying here and in the skill inventory for when this, this update came. And in a couple of days, it's going to be a whole new animal playing her against Clown and Kunga and all those other weekly and daily activities. So I'm really hyped about that. So this is what I would recommend you do. Remember, step one is identifying how your class gets the absolute most out of itself and its DPS, what skills you need to maximize in order to do that. Number two is to organize your list. You could write it on a piece of paper, you could do it on an Excel spreadsheet, whatever it is, make a priority list of your skills, secondary skills, and then like a quality of life section for your skills and their tripods. That's just gonna make it a little bit nicer or smoother or a little bit more comfortable to play that class. And number three is to look for your level four tripods and try to find in the list when you're searching for these, a level three tripod that is alongside it of one of your skills that's not in the primary list that is in the secondary list of skills that would be nice to have or the quality of life skills as well and that is going to wrap this video up guys i hope you got a lot out of this and you absolutely crush getting all of these tripods especially if you're on a budget and you don't have a lot of gold or faons or blue crystals to spend on faons which Again, it's crazy. There's so much going on, so many currencies trying to get this done, but I hope you get the absolute most out of it. Let me know down in the comments if this is gonna help you out or if you've already gotten all of your tripods, your level four out, ready to rock and roll and ready for all that sweet, sweet power that's coming on Wednesday's update, baby. We'll see you in the next video.